Hi everyone. I'm so glad you could join us today for short clips. How many of you get to go to the public library? The library is packed with thousands of books of exciting stories, books of information, and books that can take us to places around our universe. Did you know that you probably have a library in your home? The Bible that you have in your house is your library at home. Remember I said that our public library has thousands of books? Well, the Bible, it's not just one book. It's a library of 66 books. So count with me to 66. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, we're almost there, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. We did it. That's a lot of books. The Bible has books of poetry, books of law, books of history, letters, books about prophets, and about the future. There are books in the Bible that are about Jesus' life. We had that word prophet that I mentioned just a bit ago. Do you know what a prophet is? Well, a prophet is someone that has a message to us from God. And there's a reason for that message. In the Bible, there are stories of heroes and bad guys, kings, queens, miracles, families, and special babies. They're incredibly exciting stories in the Bible. The Bible is God speaking to us. It's like a flashlight lighting our way in the dark. The Bible lights our path and shows us how to live our lives for God. With all the millions of books found in the, in the libraries around the world, there are millions of people who wrote those books over the centuries. Here's some information about who wrote the Bible. It was written over a period of about 1,500 years by 40 people. They listened to God. 1,500 years, wow, that's older than me. Moses, King David, King Solomon, Matthew, Mark, the Apostle Paul, and many others wrote the Bible. So grab your flashlight and go to the library, the Bible. You won't need a library card, and you don't even have to return the Bible. God wants you to keep your Bible and read it. So blessings to you, and see you next week on Short Clips. And read your Bible. All right. See you later.